All right, let's talk really quick about a guy named Michael Kidd. Now, one of the things I mentioned when we first started looking at the musicals of the 40s is that aside from the rise of Rodgers and Hammerstein, what the 40s and into the early 50s were known for was the rise of the choreographer. The choreographer now had a style and now had specific elements to them and to the shows that they would choreograph, which is something that wasn't really the case before. And one of the guys who really stepped into prominence was a choreographer by the name of Michael Kidd. Now, Michael Kidd was a director, a choreographer, known for a very joyful and energetic style of dance. Um, where he started in terms of his choreography is that he believed that the dances should be drawn from the character's real life. As opposed to just throwing in ballet moves for a person who would never take ballet in their entire life, he tried to build off what the person's profession was or what their role in the show was and start going off of that. So, you know, for instance, you know, kind of doing this as best I can with the, the limited scope here, but, you know, if the guy, if the character worked in a, uh, you know, in a mine and he was constantly doing this, you know, he'd start with that motion and then start, you know, bringing the rest of the body in it so that still had the strength of that shovel motion or whatever, but then could move into a more graceful path, okay? So he always wanted his dance to serve the story, and when beginning a new work, he would write down the scenario and then try to explain how that drove the plot and how that informed the audience about the characters, okay? Uh, he was greatly inspired by uh, silent film comedian Charlie Chaplin because of the great detail he took in his movements at each little movement, the twist of the mustache, the roll of the hat or whatnot, helped tell the story and helped inform you about that character. In terms of uh, shows, he's probably best known for, choreogra uh, for choreographing, pardon me, a movie that would later become a musical instead of going the other way, uh, a movie by the name of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. And you can check out that one of the big dance numbers from that at the link right below.